Welcome to round five of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of December 7th. I'm Nicole Erdix and I'm here with Catherine Haleko. Hello. And Terry Morrow. Hello. Today we're taking a break from talking and complaining and obsessing and instead shouting out things other people are doing that we think you'll find as useful or as enjoyable as we do. We call this our Roundabout Roundup. And today I'm going to shout out a fun item that I purchased online this past week. <laughs> See yesterday's episode? Yeah, you're doing better than me. Uh, we got ourselves a little pet camera. I mean, I guess you could use Why? it for anything really, but they <laughs> sold it as a pet camera. Uh-huh. But it's the neatest thing. I it's just this tiny like it's a little you know camera that you plug in and Mm -hmm. you download the app for it and um the as actually has far better features than what i initially thought it would and it's got a great display like the screen you know the what you can see is very helpful Mm -hmm. and you can move the camera remotely through your phone so you can so it doesn't just sit there staring at one spot you can Uh actually pan it from side to side and up and down and you can speak to your animal (laughs) (laughs) through the phone which will come out through the camera so it was Uh so fun because last night my husband and I went for a drive and we set up the camera and we were (laughs) spying on our animals as we were (laughs) out and about like didn't you ever wonder what they get up to when you're gone yes so and it was so and it was affordable and it's so fun and you can um, there's different subscription services that you can get, but we just have the little free version and, uh-huh. um, and it just streams and, oh yeah, it's very cute. We're, we're, we're enjoying it. We're having fun with it. That so it's, cool. uh, it's by a company called NetView, N-E-T-V-U-E, and I got it on Amazon. So nice. that's my shout out this week. Catherine, how about you? Well, I was Instagram influenced to buy this product. It is called Instant carpet spot remover from a company called Folex, F-O-L-E-X. Um, and I saw somebody online, you know, using it or on Instagram, using it not for carpets, but for upholstery to remove spots. And mm. we have dining room chairs that for some dumb reason, I purchased chairs <laughs> that have like a beige seat cover. Mm. Mm, And especially, you know, when my kids were really little, we actually used the dining room chairs all the time. Uh So that was the worst. (laughs) (laughs) This was a bad decision. Yeah. um, Because now they look terrible. (laughs) Um, But on Instagram, Sherry from Young House Love was saying (laughs) that the this spot remover, and she was influenced by somebody else, by the way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, And she was saying that this this thing worked on really old stains. So I was Mm -hmm. like, well, I got some old stains, like old. (laughs) So I'm going to try it. And, you know, it wasn't perfect. It didn't, they don't look like new at Mm -hmm. all. Um, But they actually did make a really good dent on some of the very old Hmm. stains. Uh So I was impressed. Um, Nice. I think if I kept going, like, because it, it has that thing where if you, if you spray it and then there's like a circle, like a, looks like a water stain, uh huh, like around where you did it. Do you know what I mean? When you spray yeah. it. Um, so I think if I keep going and keep trying and like cover the whole <laughs> entire cushion with the spray, uh-huh. then, um, I might be able to keep, keep working on it and get them even better than they are now. But, um, you know, for like, a seven dollar container of spot remover. It's yeah, not. It's mm-hmm. pretty, pretty decent. So cool. Hmm. That was, it was worth a try. <laughs> nice. How about you, Terry? What do you have? Well, I uh, have recently been doing the Wall Street Journal crossword puzzles online. Uh, we were sort of looking around for a new paper to add to our reading, and Wall Street Journal had a really, really, really cheap introductory rate. Uh, so we got it and uh, have been enjoying the reading of the actual physical paper. But I do the crossword puzzles online, and it's really fun. They're they're a little challenging. They're very, very punny. Uh, 
but it's fun to do it online and you can, you know, fill in some of it and then go do something else and come back and it remembers what you did and you can finish it up. And another fun feature of doing crossword puzzles online, especially punny and challenging crossword puzzles online, is that there are comments and you can go down and you can oh. see what everybody else thought about this puzzle. There was one the oh. other day that there were two people who said, this was really fun. What a great puzzle. And there are two people who said, this puzzle stunk. And, and then somebody <laughs> who liked the puzzle said, well, if you don't, this puzzle is too hard for you, you should get highlights and do the word search there. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's like, Whoa. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw down here in the crossword puzzle comments. <laughs> so that is possibly my new favorite comment section to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And, you know, sometimes if you're finding it a little hard, you go down there and somebody will explain, yeah, I had trouble with this clue. Here's what it is, um, which is a nice, you know, the positive mm-hmm. side of people coming together to talk about crossword puzzles as opposed to, <laughs> how dumb are you? But uh, anyway, it's fun. If you have seen that extremely cheap Wall Street Journal offer go by, you know, try it for a month and come and do the crossword puzzles. They're fun. And that is it for another week of Parenting Roundabout. If you missed any of our earlier episodes this week, look them up on Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or wherever you get your podcasts to hear what we have to say about our families and the news, reinventing holiday traditions, and online shopping. You can also find all our episodes at ParentingRoundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter, where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. And please visit our Amazon shop at amazon.com slash shop slash mamatude, where you can find links to a lot of the things we talk about. Have a great weekend and see you back here on Monday. <laughs>